I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Kevin Kelly, um, Brian Solange, and Mr. Research, aka, because they brought into light in terms of what's really happening in the world right now as we speak in this American system. And shout out to Tito for pointing this out that these white men and these white Jewish men have slowly lost their power. Because what's going on is that these North American women with their so-called feminist movement have now made it very clear that they're going to use the laws and the police in this gynocentric system to dominate to get resources because women never wanted equal rights in the first place <clears throat> and these white men and these white Jewish men have spent so much time in these elites trying to destroy the black community so much that they have destroyed themselves in the process. Sure, they try to, you know, destroy us, but then destroy themselves in the process. Now you got these, you know, like your Harvey Weinstein, your Sylvester Stallone, your your Kevin Spacey and your Roger Ale. All of this is happening because of these women are trying to put the clamps with their economic power. And you know what happens when these women put their economic power to use. In the result, they wreak havoc, and they have allowed these women to wreak havoc. So now these white Jewish men are now being put in a corner. Sure, a lot of you knuckleheads have gotten greedy, rich off this, but now the Babylon is about to decay. Like I said, this whole sexual harassment, this man act situation, you know, all of this going on, this is not about equal equality. This is about the fact that the chickens have come home to roost now. And for you black men that want to sit there and put these white women on a pedestal, you might want to think again, homie. Because these white women are not what they seem. I know some of you guys are promoting the RR out there, and I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with women that want to be with you. That's one thing. But don't think that these women go left on you, because that's what they really do. If you don't, if the, if, if you, if they don't like what they hear or like how you talk to them, all they have to do is lie to the judge and lie to a police officer. That's all they have to do. That's all they have to do. And like I said, it is going to get worse. And all of these fan giants that think that um, that they're gonna get some reward. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, these women are nice to look at. Excuse me, my kitty. Say hello, Nico. Say hello, Nico. Nico. There we go. There's Nico right there. There he is, right there. <laughs> he just wants some attention. That's all he wants. 
But anyway, like I said before, um, it's going to get worse out here. Like I said, I had a situation where I was banned out of a car dealership because I talked to a, I texted a woman about getting her JJ wet. And the worst thing that happened in American culture is allowing these women in the workplace. I think it's the worst thing that ever happened. Because the minute you start giving these women power, look what they do. They destroy everything in their path. That's what they do. They destroy everything in their path. A lot of you guys, a lot of you Jewish men, are reaping what you're sowing. This is only going to get worse before anything. And these are, and these are, these are, these are white men. These are white Jewish men that are basically being in the news, like your Harvey Weinstein, your Sylvester Stallone, Italian. Um, that guy who did PBS and CBS, he just got let go. All this sexual harassment, this is a man act, slash me too. These are nothing but bitter, old ass feminist women that have hit the wall and no one wants them. You ever notice that these most of these feminist attractive women are just Feminist women are unattractive as hell. They really ain't that attractive. Because most of these women, they dress like, you know, and even some of these beautiful women, even at the age of 40, they, they walk around half naked and stuff, wanting attention like that Sylvester Stallone situation where you had a... a a girl that was 16 years old having sex with this man. And this girl wanted to have sex. And here's the ironic, here's the sad thing about this situation. Some of these women waited, what? 20, 30, 40 years to now make a, a sexual harassment claim? Now I can understand if you may have been 16 years old, you might have been naive, but... Then you got some of these young 17 and 16 year old girls that want to have sex with these dudes. I guess the girl that had sex with Sylvester Stallone, she was embarrassed, but obviously had no problem of wanting to have sex with this woman. The problem was she just didn't want her business out there. So, like I said, man, it's, it's going to get worse before it gets better. The fall of Babylon has begun. This whole sexual harassment thing. And you white and you Jewish men have really lost your power. You really have. Because this American culture is crumbling. As we speak. And with that, this is Carl Mitchell signing off.